an example of encapsulation. If you just watched my video on abstraction versus encapsulation, you may have a sense of the high level concept, but I thought I'd provide a good example of encapsulation. Say you have a function that returns the value of pi, and you call it by saying pi value and a number, nine. I could do that function a number of different ways through encapsulation. I could store the first six digits of pi and anything if you asked for the seventh digit of pi I would calculate it so that I only had to have my function contain the data for the first seven values of pi. This would be encapsulated. Everything that you needed in order to complete the function would be there. The advantage of encapsulation in this case would be that later I decided there was a more efficient way to calculate the hundredth value of pi I could change that function and it wouldn't affect the rest of the interface. The person making the call to pi value of 6 would get the 6th value of pi and it might be faster than the old way, it might be slower than the old way. I could add caching so that if you ask for the same value of pi 85 times in a row, I always return the same value without having to redo the calculation. You could do a lot of interesting things to speed up that function without changing the way the rest of the program worked. And that would be encapsulated. Everything you needed would be contained and you would have done the encapsulation so that the rest of the code wouldn't have to be re-debugged as long as that function had been proven to be stable and reliable. So through encapsulation, you're increasing the reliability of your software and allowing for optimization of individual functions that have been encapsulated.